an introductory video into computer hardware. This is for computer science year one. There are two main parts of a computer. These are known as hardware and software. Hardware is the electrical physical components of the computer system. Some examples of these are motherboard, graphics card, mouse, keyboard. It is anything that you can see or touch but the definition is crucial. The definition is the electrical physical components of the computer system. Software then, these are the sequence of instructions that run on the computer's hardware. If you wanted to be a little bit more technical you could say the sequence of instructions that execute on the computer's hardware. Software is designed to solve common or custom problems and perform tasks. It is software that you use with your hardware. Examples of software that you may be familiar with a word processor, a web browser, graphic software. This, these are pieces of software. One key important part here is don't use brand names don't say something like Microsoft Word because that is branded in generic terms it is a word processor the same with don't say Microsoft Excel that would be a spreadsheet package there are different types of devices and components um, so a device a component is computer hardware it is a physical or electrical component Input devices are devices that provide data into the computer, things like a mouse, a keyboard, a webcam. An output device is a device that is used to present data. Now this might be a monitor. The more technical name for a monitor is a VDU, a visual display unit. A printer is an output device. Internal components. So internal means the components that are actually within the computer system so if you used to open up the tower case what's inside things like a processor ram stick motherboard external component anything that is external from the computer is usually plugged in uh, this might be an external hard disk drive peripheral device now the definition of a peripheral device a device not directly connected to the CPU. So this is one in which that we plug into a computer and it has some bridging connections to get the data to the central processing unit. Here is what we know as the five box model of computer systems. At the heart is the processor this performs the calculations, the arithmetic. We've got input devices, our mouse, our keyboard, that provide the data. Once the data is processed, it is output. Main memory stores the data and instructions that, is current, that the processor is currently using. An auxiliary storage, often known as secondary storage, is used for long-term storage of data. Things like a hard disk drive a CD-ROM drive, a Blu-ray drive, USB flash memory stick this all falls into auxiliary storage. Examples of my memory are RAM and we've gone through output and input devices. That can be summarized as a free box model with just three parts. The processor often known as the central processing unit, main memory often known as RAM and I.O. devices, input, output. And these are connected by something called a bus. In summary, if you wanted to pause the video, the CPU, central processing unit, sometimes summarized as the processor, this is the brains of the computer system. Uh, some example processors are single core, you may have multi-core like dual-core, quad-core processors. Some examples there that you may have heard of Intel i3, i5, i7. Uh, typical processors contain 2 billion or more transistors. Now this is the important part. The job of a processor is to perform calculations, arithmetic 
and they do this on data and instructions. Main memory. If we think back to our model here, main memory. This sits in the middle. So main memory holds the data and instructions while the computer is running. So it's the data and instructions that are currently in use. You might have heard of bits and bytes. Well, one byte can hold one character and main memory is made up of several bytes. You may have a RAM stick on your computer that is two gigabytes. So therefore you can hold two gigabytes of data on that RAM stick. The total number of bytes in memory is referred to as the computer's memory size. So what is it about random access memory then? So RAM is your ordinary memory. This is your memory sticks, your RAM sticks. These can be upgraded inside your computer. You typically have 2 gig to 4 gig. You may have 8 gig of RAM. RAM loses all of its data, all of its contents when the power is switched off. This is known as volatile. RAM is known as primary storage. It stores the data and instructions that are in use. But as we said, once the power is turned off, everything is cleared. So when you switch your computer off, unless you saved something, it's lost. Now you save it to secondary storage, which is like your hard disk drive. It's used for temporarily storing program data and instructions. And the processor uses it to read and write. So RAM stands for Random Access Memory. Another one is ROM, Read Only Memory. Now every computer has a ROM chip. It's non-volatile, which means the contents remain even when the power is turned off. It's read only, so we can't write to it. An example of where it is used is for something called the bootstrap loader. This tells the computer where to find the operating system when you turn it on. It basically has the first few instructions that your computer runs to load up the operating system. And the last one for this video today is auxiliary storage, which we've briefly mentioned, also known as secondary storage. The device used for long-term storage of data and instructions. We sometimes say it's semi-permanent. Examples of secondary storage are hard disk drives, both internal and external, CD drives, that may be CD-ROM, CDR, CDRW, Blu-ray, flash memory stick, flash memory cards, like your SD cards that go in digital cameras, DAT storage devices, DAT stands for digital audio tape. So anywhere where we store data, where we want to be able to use it again, that could be micro SD cards also. So the difference between primary and secondary storage, primary is your RAM. This is the, the memory internally or inside the computer, temporary, temporary memory. And secondary storage is for long-term storage. Secondary storage is non-volatile. So we've just looked at a video on computer hardware which is an introduction into hardware devices for computer science A-level year one.